There's a strike. Okay. Okay, folks. Hey, fellow YouTubers and gal YouTubers. I just lost a fish on a Cinco. Hey, I want to tell, I want to show you and explain to you the ABCs of fishing the number one lure in the whole world. This is the almighty Cinco, and I don't care if you're in Connecticut or California or Japan or any place in the whole world, there's nothing better in the long run than catching fish right and left and ABCs of, of Cinco fishing. Cinco fishing is the number one deal. Okay, let me just turn the boat around real quick and I'll just show you something real quick on, on how I'm rigging this up and what I'm gonna do. Uh, basically, there's four ways that I have to fish a Cinco. I'm gonna put this in and I'm gonna hit my spot lock and I'm gonna show you the first way that I'm, I'm fishing. This is the standard way of fishing a Cinco. I'm using a casting rod with some braid. I have a little leader, a fluorocarbon leader, about, uh, about 20 pound test line. And I'm taking a four aught EWG hook. This is imp important to have the right hook. Pretty heavy tackle because I'm fishing South Florida where there's some big fish. So I don't wanna go too light. I'm gonna take a five inch Green Pumpkin Cinco, the number one size and color in the whole world. They sell this Green Pumpkin, more of the Green Pumpkins everywhere than any other color. In fact, they sell almost as many of the Green Pumpkins colors as they do all the rest of the colors put together. It's by far the number one color, by far the number one size worldwide, all over the country, everywhere. Now. There's other ways to catch fish, don't get me wrong. I might catch a bigger fish on a topwater. I might catch more fish on a little jig, but just day in and day out, all seasons, there's nothing that compares to a Cinco. Okay, the first way to rig it up. I'm gonna come in the head of that, that, that Cinco, about three eighths of an inch with this four art hook. Come out, no weight. Now notice I have no weight on that line. I'm gonna turn that hook around and I'm just gonna bury the hook up in, in the Cinco again, okay? Boom, it's all buried. That's all there is to it. It's just simple. Now look, look at the way it sinks in the water. I just wanted to just show you this real quick. It just, it just sinks in the water, just kind of goes down flat. It's hard to see, but it, if it, just, if it just goes down flat. It's just, it's just a flat sink. And it goes down pretty fast. Now there's all kinds of imitations of Cinco's. You can buy ch sink, Cinco's a lot cheaper than the regular Yamamoto Cinco. And the reason is, it's a soft plastic that they really like. It has a lot of salt and it's heavier. This is a heavier lure than any, about any lure on the market. It's just got a lot of salt in it. It's real soft, but it's very, very effective. Okay, now how I'm gonna fish this is pretty easy. I was just throwing to the shoreline just a minute ago right over there by those lily pads. And I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna make a, a cast and throw those lilies right there. I'm gonna hold the rod kind of high. I'm, I kind of like to hold the rod because I'm a line watcher, number one. I think I got a strike. Yep. I got one. I got one. I got one. A good one. A good one. Yes, sir. Oh! He got off! A big four pounder! That doesn't make a difference. I just want to show you how to do it. I don't know why he got off, but he just, he just got off. But hey, it was a good fish and it was, do, it was doing the right thing the right way. Okay, let me, let me explain this again what I did. I'm going to bury that hook in the worm. That was a good fish, by the way. I, I normally don't lose them. I have a, a big heavy-duty favorite rod and a big heavy-duty reel, and I just threw this last time right over there by the lily pads. I'm going to let it sink down. Just let it sink down. And uh, you notice bass in this place are mainly, they're on some type of structure. Like in other words, there's little patches of lily pads here. There's a little log right there. There's some rocks on the, in the water though. Look at that, there's rocks right there. So there's a lot of different, what we call ambush points. So what I'm doing, I'm now fishing a spot. I'm not gonna retrieve this worm very far. Once I throw to that ambush point, I'm gonna I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fish right there at the ambush. I'm probably scared to fish away. That big, big, nice one just got away. So I, I'm not gonna catch him probably. 
but I'll just ease it along, make another cast. Okay. Flip the hook again. I got another one. 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 Look at that guy. Big old nice bass. Big old nice bass. He came right off that ambush point. Just as nice as can be, son. That's what we're talking about. That's the kind of fish Cinco's catch. Hey, Cinco's catch big bass. That's a nice, nice bass. Okay, see how he's hooked? He's hooked right on the side of the mouth. Now, I want to make a, a point here. Sinkers are so effective that quite often the fish swallow them. So keeping that in mind, and it's the fact that I do catch and release, don't let them take it very long. Because if you let the fish take it long, what happens is they'll swallow it, and you'll get it way down their throat, and you'll kill the fish. So, it, you know, it's a nice big adult bass. It's just a, it's a trophy to some people. It's, you know, three or four pound fish. It's a nice fish. Hopefully we'll catch some more like that. But the point is, he hit on the perfect spot. He hit on a perfect ambush point. I'm gonna go ahead and release him to be caught again another day. Again, I'll just rig it up. I'll come in. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fish. I'm gonna fish all the different ways of, of, of rigging. I'm not gonna fish anymore that wet way. That, this is the standard way of doing it with, with no weight. Let's, let's just switch rods. I'm gonna just show you a combination of ways to catch them, okay? So that's one way. We saw that work, okay? Let's do the same thing with a spinning rod. Let's get a spinning rod out. Now actually, when you think about it, there's more spinning rods sold in the country than anything else. So what I've done here is I have a spinning rod and I have 20 pound test uh, braid on that spinning rod. The water has a little color to it I got the same four aught EWG hook. I got the same five inch 297 green pumpkin sinko. I got the same thing, but it's a, it's a six and a half foot spinner rod. Well, a lot of people like spinning. I like casting for the simple reason that it's more powerful. I can put a heavier line, cast with heavier line, and I have more accuracy. Personally, I can cast more accurately with a casting rod. But I'll just show you this with the spinning rod, nevertheless. Okay, I'll throw the Sink into the ambush point. I don't think we're going to catch another one. We're, we've already kind of messed that spot up. But I, I did it the same way. I'm going to hold a, the rod high. I'm just going to just kind of be a line watcher. I'm really watch, watching the line. I'm going to pull it along. Oh, something's got it, but I think it's a, I think it's a cichlid. Uh, it was a, well, there's more than there's more than just bass in here. That wasn't a bass what that was and he's hitting it again there are these things called Mayan cichlids so I'll, I'll just show you again what what I'll do and that was not a bass that was that was a Mayan cichlid so I'm gonna throw it in a little patch of weeds nice accurate cast okay hold the rod high watch the line okay now braid is more sensitive than anything so when I get a strike on braid I can really feel it I'm just easing it along real slow and easy This is still just the first way of fishing a, a Cinco. I haven't got to my second way yet. This is just either with casting or spinning. And so the spinning works uh, as well as the casting. It's just, again, I like the casting for the fact that I have, I can use heavier line, heavier tackle, and possibly make a more accurate cast. So I don't use spinning quite as much as some people. Some people have mastered spinning fine, and that's fine. You can use spinning as well, but Again, I like the casting. Okay, just ease it along. There's a strike. I don't think it's a bass. I think it's a, something else. A little bass. Just a little bass. Wasn't any size to him. Wasn't any size to him. Well, okay, I've shown you the basics of fishing a Cinco with either a spinning rod or a casting rod. Let's go to another system. Let's go to another rod combination, another whole way of fishing, another whole technique of, of fishing a Cinco, and it's called the wacky rig. Let me just show you what a wacky rig is, because it's really, really a, an efficient way of fishing. In real clear water, sometimes you have fish that uh, are really kind of hard to catch, 
And so what I do there is I'll take a spinner rod, I'll put a little leader on it, pretty light. I'll take an O-ring and I'll put an O-ring on my Senko about halfway up or around the egg sac. I'll take a, any kind of hook, well I, I can use a small weedless in this case, but you can use a little octopus hook. You can use a fairly small hook and you hook it there and, and at this point I don't have any weight, but I'm going to just show you an addition to the weight. Now, they make these little tail weights for fishing wacky rigs. Let me just show you how that works. This is a little tungsten tail weight, a little bitty tungsten tail weight, not very big. And I'm going to go into the tail of that worm and I'm going to push that weight up in there. I'm just going to push it way up in that tail of that worm. Doop, 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 doop. Push it right up there. Push it right in there. Push it up there pretty far as it's out of sight. It's way up in there. Way up in that worm. It's not going to come out. Hopefully it won't come out. It will come out. Okay, it's way up there. Now, what this does is if you watch it sink, instead of sinking horizontal, it sinks. See how it goes down? It just kind of goes straight down because that, th that tail weight's pulling it down. Okay, now it's a whole different ball game. There's a couple ways you can fish it. Number one, you can skip the, you can skip the sink out. Look at this. You can skip it with a spin rod. You can skip it right into places. You can skip it underneath a boat dock. You can skip it underneath a, an overhanging bush. You can skip it underneath a tree. So skipping it has some advantages with the Cinco, okay? So one thing about this wacky rig, with that little tail weight, you can fish it a little bit deeper water. And I, I saw when I was coming in here, that's about 10 or 15 feet deep right there. That's a perfectly good depth to fish this little, this little uh, wacky rig if, if you choose to so, so to do so. Uh, at least we can fish it deeper. And uh, so sometimes I'll throw it out in deeper water just kind of to check things out. There's a lot of fish out in deep water on this lake. It's not, they're not all just shallow. There's little ridges out there and there's little rock piles out there and there's a lot of different, what we call structure. Structure is any irregular feature in the form of a ridge, in the form of an underwater island, in the form of a rock pile, in the form of just anything that's irregular from the rest of the shoreline. He took it down deep. Oh well, not much of a fish. A little bit better. At least I'm showing you a few things about how to catch them uh, on a wacky rig. But the best is yet to come. I haven't started the big heavy duty flipping thing yet. That's going to be my big deal. Okay, he's all right. Not a problem, not a problem, not a problem. Okay. We've covered a couple ways of catching fish. We've covered some really great ways of catching fish. The best is yet to come. Okay, we've done the regular the Cinco with, with and without weight. We've done the, the wacky rig with and without weight. What about the real heavy cover? You know, there's big heavy bushes. There's big lily pad deals right here. There's all these bushes. There's all kind of neat, big, heavy duty spots. How do you fish that? with a Cinco. Well, let me just show you. Okay, let me just show you real quick. I'm gonna get one of my big rods out. Here we go. A big rod is a big heavy duty flipping stick. Ha ha ha. I got 65 pound braid on there, boys. Now, here's the other thing. I have, I, I just went to 25 pound leader just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. And, and I got a, a, a quarter of an ounce weight on. Actually, it's a little even more than a quarter of an ounce weight. And I have this big, what we call, this is what they call the cushion thing. I can put it in my stomach and really get some, some power on the thing. Now, I'll come up to a patch of lilies like I'm going to come up to in just a second. Watch this now. This could be some whole different ball game. A whole different ball game. I'm going to get, get in there and pitch. That's not quite the spot yet. Okay, now, I'm gonna throw in the very, very middle of those lily pads. That's where the big ones can be, right there in the middle. Okay, it's down there, I'm gonna feed it line, I'm gonna feed it line, it's right in the middle of that stuff. I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna jig it up and down real slow and easy, up and down real slow and easy. Okay, let it be down about a foot, let it up about a foot. Boy, now that's gonna be a really big one to bite in there. I got some heavy tackle. I got a heavy rod. 
I could probably handle them pretty good. Let's get out here. Let's try another flip. There's a lot of lily pads. There are a lot of places where a big fish could be. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it down in there and get ready for a big bite. I like that right there. Let it go down, let it sink down. It's four or five feet deep. Barely lift up on it. Barely lift it. It's, he's got it. 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 That's what you do. That's exactly what you do. I've jigged it four or five times. He hit it just on, on cue. He's not a real big one, but he hit like a real big one would hit. That was the perfect example of how to fish the heavy cover that I'm trying to show you how to fish. Okay, let me get my worm all set up and I'll show you again how to do that. I'm gonna get another worm. Now, I'll admit, I'm going through a bunch of worms, but you notice I'm throwing the worms at the bottom of the floor because I have a mold. And I can, sit, I can melt these back down and come up with uh, brand new Cinco's. I got a mold for them and I, it doesn't cost me anything to, to melt them much. Put them in the microwave and I re reconstitute of the Cinco's. And all of a sudden I got free Cinco's. Okay, boys, get that weight down again. I've caught one there, so I don't know if I could catch another one. I'm gonna go a little bit farther over this way, right there. Get it down, get it down. Okay, it's on the bottom, lift up. Big fish just came running out. He got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. That's what I'm talking about. 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 That's a better fish. But see what I did? I just pulled him right out of the bushes. I mean, I just jerked him right out of the bushes. As a nice fish, I don't think I would have caught him in any other way. But I just motored him out. Just made a big deal motoring him out. I'm going to get back over here. Maybe there's another one there. Okay, Put the, drop this one back, get another worm. What in the world does a Cinco represent? What is a Cinco? Is there anything in nature that even looks like this? When I first got a big contract with Gary Yamamoto, who came up with the Cinco idea, it was back in the early 90s, and, I, and he showed me this Cinco, and, he, and I said to him in all seriousness, I said, Gary, it might really catch fish, but it's such an ugly lure. The Cinco is so ugly that the, the, they're not going to buy it. Nobody's going to buy this thing because it's ugly. It doesn't have any action. The tail doesn't wiggle, and it just looks like a stick. And it's, uh, it's, it's not going to sell good. Well, it's been the number one selling worm for the last 30 years. <laughs> what do I know? Okay, same spot right in there. You see, how I'm pulling the line out to make it go right straight down. I lift it up. Watch that line. Lift it up. And bite it. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. Yeah, okay. Now it's a flipper fish. That's a flipping fish. That's a flipping fish. I told you there'd be some a couple of halfway decent ones along here. That's a halfway decent one. Okay, boys. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. It looks like he's been spawning. Look how fat that belly is. Ooh, son. That's what you call a flipping fish there, boys. Okay, now we're getting it going. This is what it's all about. Pitching and flipping in the heavy cover. Probably my number one way of catching a big fish. The wind's blowing like crazy. There's one more way to catch them that's really might turn the tide. Might be the deal of the day. Windy, windy weather. Now one thing about a Carolina rig that I'm fishing now is I'm, you can use up to like a one ounce weight. So you can kind of get away with a lot of windy conditions if you can hold the boat. Again, you're fishing deep water. So uh, it's a matter of just uh, holding in position with the boat. Just drag that Carolina rig. That's all you have to do, just drag it along. I'm hitting a lot of real rough bottom right now. In fact, there they see, look, look, look. Something's hitting it right now. I'm gonna reel down, hit, cut, 
you know, not real hard, but okay, I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him, son. Oh, shoot. Boy, he's around the rocks. Come on, pass. Woo, son. I got him. I got him. Come on in. There he is. There he is. A nice one. Oh, hey, he's not real big, but he's a he's better fish than been catching. Okay, okay, yeah. You know, here's the deal, folks. I, I hit, didn't catch any real big fish today. A bunch of small ones, really. But we caught plenty of fish. We caught them, you know, we caught them on the standard uh, uh, rig, like, you know, just throwing the the regular casting rod with no weight. We caught them good with that. We caught them on the spinning rod with no weight. We caught them with the wacky, wacky rig. Was another great, great choice. And then we put on the big flipping weight. and we went to the big heavy cover, caught plenty more fish. Now we finally finish it off with the old Carolina rig out in deep water. So that's just four of the great ways of fishing this number one lure, number one bass lure in the United States, in the country, in the world, in the universe, the Cinco. Hey, it's it's great uh, for you subscribing. I, I know you're so supportive of my channel. Thanks a lot. I, I post every Wednesday about six o'clock, and I post every Sunday about six o'clock. And then on Friday I do this weekly update, talking all about the week's events, hunting and fishing, and all the different things that I do, promotions and whatever. But anyway, it's been great working with you guys and girls. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.